Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I have here is the center 0, 0, the vertex 4, 0, and the covertex 0, square root of 3. And what I want to do is show you how to uh, graph the ellipse. As, I'm sorry, not graph the ellipse, but write the, write the equation of the ellipse. Um, and to do that, though, we, we have two equations of the ellipse. And you know, we have one where our major axis is horizontal, and then we have one where our major axis is vertical. And really, the only difference between those two is the larger, uh, or our a squared, is under the x or it's under the y. So what we need to do is determine, you know, is this a ellipse with the major axis horizontal, or is this an ellipse with the major axis, which is vertical? So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to plot the information I'm given, because that's going to give me a basic understanding of what exactly I have for this problem. So they say the center is at 0, 0. I like that. That's good. They say the vertex is at 4, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. And they say the covertex is at 0, comma, square root of 3. Square root of 3 um, is going to be anywhere between 1 and 2. So I'm just going to say something like this. Let's put C here, and let's call this covertice. OK. Now, to identify, is my major axis horizontal and vertical, the one important thing we need to understand is the major axis, the center, the vertice, and the foci all lie on the major axis. So right now, you can see that my vertice and my center are on the x axis. And therefore, my foci is going to have to lie on this as well, because now you can see that here is going to be my major axis. right? It can't be up here, because that would be the center and the covertice. The center and the covertice lie on the minor axis. We need to determine where's the major axis, which you can see is going to be horizontal. So now that I know that it's horizontal, I need to go with what is my general form for a horizontal parabola, or an ellipse, I'm sorry. So I have x opposite of h squared plus y opposite of k squared equals 1. And again, remember when it's horizontal, my a squared, which is um, a, which is the distance from the center to the vertice, is going to be under my x. And my b squared, um, where b is the distance from the center to the covertice, is going to be under the y. Whatever the larger number is, is going to be under x if it's horizontal, or it would be under y if it's vertical. So, <clears throat> so since we we now know this, um, or know what type of formula we're going to be dealing with. Now we, let's see if we can evaluate for our a and our b. Now remember, a, as I said, is the distance from your center to your vertice, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. And there's going to be another vertice over here, 1, 2, 3, 4. But it doesn't really matter. It's an absolute distance, right? It's, a distance is an absolute value. It's not 4 or negative 4. Because look, at we square it, right? So we can say a equals 4. Even if you use negative 4, you still square it. It's still going to be a squared is still 16. My covertice, which we plotted, was the square root of 3. So we say b equals the square root of 3. Now, and we also know the center, which is 0, comma 0. So remember, the center is h, comma k. So since I don't have, since I have 0 for 0, I'll, I'll plug them in, and maybe you can make sense of it. Then let's plug in a squared, so that'd be 4 squared, divided by the square root of 3. Squared equals 1. OK, so now all we got to do is simplify our formula. Well, obviously, x minus 0 is just x. So I have x squared over 4 squared, which is 16, plus y minus 0 is just y, so that's y squared, over square root of 3 squared. Remember, the square root and the square are going to undo each other. Those are opposite operations. Or you could just think of this as, Square root of 3 times the square root of 3 equals the square root of 3 squared, which is square root of 3 squared, which is square root of 9, which is equal to 3. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you write the equation of your ellipse. Thanks. Provided the center, the vertex, and the covertex.